Hello friends, this is DMC um, and this is my quick review of Costa Coffee's Mocha Italia Signature Blend Coffee Beans and this is a coffee I picked up in Tesco for £2.50 I think it was on offer um, I'm not sure if it's £3 or £3.50 normally um, but they do other types of Costa there, I've um, reviewed another Costa coffee at some point and I think they still do that one but this is the first coffee beans I've seen in the supermarkets from um, Costa coffee so we'll take a quick look on the front of the pack, it says uh, Robusta and Arabica beans smooth and nutty with notes of caramel and it's a strength number three, medium. On the back, it says, at Costa, we know great coffee, the proof. We've been serving our legendary signature blend since 71. It took 112 different blends to get it just right, but boy, was it worth it. The perfect balance of delicate Arabica and strong Robusta beans slow roasted for a smooth and nutty flavour and rich aroma and that is from Gennaro Pellicia, master of coffee and there's the strength guide coffee the cost away tells you how to make your coffee uh, there we go, and roasted coffee beans, 200 grams this, normally it's 227 or 250, but this is in 200 grams, similar to Starbucks, who also do their coffees in 200 gram bags. The best before date is the 23rd of the 8th, 2019, so just under a year on the best before date on this. Packed in the UK for Costa, distributed by All About Food, and that's in Skemmersdale, which isn't too far from me. So, that is it for the pack. Just um, on the other side, that it's a Rainforest Alliance certified coffee, this one. So, if we take a look at the beans, as you can see, it is quite a bit of a mishmash um, roast wise between the different blends within this coffee as you can see some very light beans um, some very dark beans uh, the odd broken bean in here as well so it's not the absolute best quality beans um, really so there's really is a multitude of shades of brown there and the aroma of the beans is earthy smoky with hints of chocolate and caramel and um, a very slight nuttiness there too but yeah as you can see that the, the light ones are probably the um, robusta beans I've seen somewhere actually where it said the, the line down the centre of the bean in a Robusta bean is a straight line where an Arabica which is more like this one here has more of a wavy line to it. I don't know if that's 100% foolproof as a way of telling the difference but that seems to be a decent little um, indicator of how to tell the difference between an Arabica bean and a Robusta bean. So that's enough of the beans. Take a look at the ground coffee. It's quite light actually um, for a Italian roast. Um, quite a light orange colour to this. And when ground it takes on that more obvious Italian roast aroma with a slight spicy bitterness and a floral hint that that's almost chemical but not as much as some French roasts um, it's there but very subtle it's very rich in aroma and quite meaty too this coffee with none of the cheaper buster that was evidence in the other coffee I reviewed um, from Costa I really like um, dark roasted coffee, but there's something about 
French and Italian roasts in the supermarkets especially that just puts me off slightly I just don't understand where the slight floral chemical taste comes from um, with them if anyone knows um, let me know in the comments section below why Italian and French roast take on that sort of floral chemical taste as I say this one is just the right side of the edge for me um, it's really it, it is teetering a bit on the edge of that cheap cheap um, coffee um, aroma but it's just the right side for me only just on and taste wise well first the aroma of the from the cup is the dreaded clove robusta hint which I never like in my coffee so that's not a good start before I've even had a taste which I didn't really pick up in the aroma of the beans or the ground coffee and no 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 it's tried to fool me with the aroma being quite pleasant <laughs> but there was hints there at the impending darkness within this coffee it's a rather plain old cheap tasting unpleasant coffee I really don't understand the popularity of um, Costa coffee um, why they put cheap Robusta coffee in there I really don't know McDonald's do 10 times better coffee than Costa's and they're a lot cheaper as well so that's a tip from me give up Costa go for McDonald's if you like your coffee to taste like a dentist waiting room you'll love this um, don't get me wrong I may be slightly over exaggerating as it's not undrinkable um, but I would never buy this coffee again um, and I wouldn't really recommend it either it's that cheap robust and taste that comes through with all cost of coffees for me and this one scores a disappointing 2 out of 5 I was really disappointed with this one I was expecting a lot from that initial aroma that I was getting quite pleasant and nice but once you brew a cup of it you get the smell from the cup of the clove cheap robusta taste and that really does it for me um, no good so yeah I really wouldn't recommend this one unless it's dirt cheap um, that's the only way I would go for this coffee again unless it was like a pound or so on offer at a pound somewhere that's the only time I would go for this coffee again so if you are a fan of Costa Coffee or you've tried these beans and you think I am completely wrong about Costa Coffee, I'd love to hear from you in the um, comments section below. Put your side of it, um, put your side of things to me and let me know why you think Costa Coffee is good because I really think it's terrible. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more coffee reviews in the future, subscribe to my channel. That was my quick review. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.